Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the heart of the arena, dissecting the best that NVIDIA and AMD have to offer for 4K gaming supremacy. Let's get started. First up, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090. This beast is based on NVIDIA's Ada Lovelace architecture, packing 24GB of GDDR6X memory and a boost clock speed up to 2520 MHz. The RTX 4090 will set you back a pretty penny, but you're also getting access to NVIDIA's impressive suite of features like DLSS and ray tracing. So yeah, the RTX 4090 is a beast, but is it the king of the 4K gaming hill? Let's find out. Now, let's turn our attention to the AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. Built on AMD's RDNA 3 architecture, it packs 24GB of GDDR6 memory and a boost clock speed up to 2499 MHz. AMD has been making strides in performance per watt, and the 7900 XTX is a testament to that. Plus, it's got Fidelity FX Super Resolution FSR, AMD's answer to DLSS delivering a significant performance boost without sacrificing much in image quality. And the best part? It works on a wider range of games, even some older titles that don't support DLSS. Chapter 3 4K Benchmarks Fight! Let's see these cards in action. We're going to put them through their paces in a series of demanding games at 4K resolution. First up, Cyberpunk 2077. With ray tracing enabled, the RTX 4090 delivers a smooth 60 frames per second on average, while the 7900 XTX averages around 50 frames per second. Next, Microsoft Flight Simulator. The 4090 pulls ahead, averaging around 75 frames per second, while the 7900 XTX averages around 60 frames per second. Moving on to God of War, both cards deliver frame rates well above 100 frames per second, with the 4090 maintaining a slight lead. Overall, the RTX 4090 consistently delivers higher frame rates, proving it's still the king of raw performance. However, the 7900 XTX puts up a valiant effort coming surprisingly close to matching its green rival in some cases. Chapter 4, Ray Tracing Throwdown. Let's turn our attention to ray tracing, the technology transforming game visuals. In our testing, the RTX 4090 consistently delivers superior ray tracing performance, thanks to its dedicated ray tracing cores. The 7900 XTX relies on its shader cores, which can result in a performance hit. This difference is evident in games like Control and Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition, where the RTX 4090 delivers smoother frame rates and more realistic lighting effects. AMD's FSR technology can help close the gap somewhat by upscaling the image from a lower resolution. Ultimately, the best choice for ray tracing comes down to your budget and performance expectations. If you demand the best ray tracing performance and are willing to pay a premium, the RTX 4090 is the clear winner. However, if you're on a tighter budget or willing to sacrifice some ray tracing fidelity for higher frame rates, the 7900 XTX is a compelling alternative. Chapter 5. The Verdict. Which GPU reigns supreme? We've put these two titans through their paces, and it's time to declare a winner. The RTX 4090 is the undisputed king of raw performance, offering the highest frame rates and best ray tracing capabilities. However, the 7900 XTX offers excellent performance at a more palatable price. Ultimately, the best GPU for you comes down to your budget, performance expectations, and individual needs. But one thing's for sure, no matter which card you choose, you're in for one heck of a 4K gaming experience. Well, there you have it, folks. Our epic showdown between NVIDIA and AMD's top GPUs has come to an end. Hopefully, we've shed some light on which card might be the right fit for your 4K gaming needs. Don't forget to let us know in the comments which GPU you're leaning towards and smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay safe, game on, and keep those frames high. We'll see you in the next one.